they're already going to start. Andale. If I'm going to keep both of you guys in here, you need to behave. Okay? Okay? Yes. ¿Se calman o los calmo? Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be playing with some new stuff. Going to be doing a full face. It's going to be a chatty get ready with me just because I feel like I haven't done one in a long time and I want to just relax, sit down, apply some makeup, play with some new stuff. I'm really excited to play with the new Sigma Ambiance collection. As soon as I received it, I looked inside and look how gorgeous this collection is. Well, I mean, the model is gorgeous, of course, but the collection, it's just, ugh. I'm ready. I'm ready for summer. So we're gonna be playing with this, some new Juvia's Place stuff. So let's get started. I don't have anything on my face right now other than my daily moisturizer, like my daily skincare and sunscreen, which one thing with sunscreen that I will mention is that I personally was never bringing it down the neck and onto the chest, but I ran into a YouTube video with a couple of dermatologists. I'll link it down in the description box below in case you're interested, in case you're curious. I found it very helpful because uh, they brought up a lot of stuff that I never considered, this being one of them. A lot of people tend to neglect this area of the skin, um, myself included, until recently. And so that's what I've been doing all over the face, down the neck, on the chest, just a little bit extra to help out in the future, you know? So we're gonna get started with brows. This is my absolute favorite brow product of all time. This is the Brow Freeze Brow Styling Wax from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I love this so much. I take a little bit of that with a spoolie. This one is from Sigma Beauty. It is their E80. So just taking a little bit of the brow wax and that's how I get my brows started nowadays. I really like the way that the brow wax directs the brow hairs, tells them where to go, and it keeps them in place. So they're they're good to go. And also, it makes them look more natural than they would otherwise. When I use a pencil, I feel like they just look a little bit too drawn on for my liking. Now I've been going more so for like a natural look, and this allows me to do that. Next brow powder. This is the medium brown shade from Anastasia Beverly Hills. That is their brow powder duo, which looks like this. I've talked about this product in a previous video. I think it was a favorites video. I love using this on the brows and it's the only thing that I can use on top of the brow wax because if I try to use a brow pencil with this brow wax, it's just, it glides and it doesn't leave any kind of pigment behind. It just glides all over your skin, but it doesn't doesn't do anything. The brow powder, it not only looks much more natural, if you will, but it also actually stays on the brow. So just grabbing a little bit of the deeper side with my angled brow brush. This one is the E75 from Sigma Beauty. So I start off here and just start guiding my brow in the direction that I would like it to go in. I don't know about you guys, but I always had such a hard time with the brow right here along the front. It's always very hard for me to get it really light there and then deepen it as I go. But with the brow powder, I find this to be a lot easier. Since I just press it onto the bottom and then just like lightly flick it up, it kind of does the work for me as far as the fading of the product. So just taking that and just filling in the sparse areas there. Growing up, I fell victim to the over tweezing of the brows in the late 90s. Um, as a teenager, trying to shape my brows and trying to make them look really nice, I went a little too crazy with the tweezers at one point, and I kid you not, I had like a literal line worth of brow. If you can imagine, I had that. That was me. Fortunately, the damage wasn't completely done, <laughs> as I still have brow hair, but man, I got close. <laughs> because you know, once you pull it out at the root, Sometimes like that's not gonna grow anymore. And then I go back and I grab the lighter shade and this is what I use along the top. It helps make them look a little bit more natural and it also adds dimension. So it's not just like one color across the entire brow, you know? Then I go back with the spoolie and just blend it all in. Today's look is going to consist of the new Sigma Ambiance palette, which looks like this. You guys are gonna die. It is such a beautiful 
warm tone palette. Like, I'm such a sucker for shades like this. This is something that I would grab a hundred times over. And I hate to admit that, but this is just what I love. So like right here in front of me, I have their spicy palette, which is warm tone. I also have their ritzy palette, which is warm tone neutrals warm tone neutrals. I just, that, that's that's what I live for, okay? So of course, I'm starting off with my Juvia's Place Eye Primer. Just applying some of that onto the lid before moving on to this beautiful, gorgeous eyeshadow palette. I also take some of this eye primer and I um, use it to clean up underneath the brow. So sometimes I can get a little bit messy or I'm doing things really quickly, um, but all I have to do is take my flat definer brush. This is the E15 from Sigma. It's really, it's flat, it's wide. It's perfect for underneath the brow, for cleaning up underneath the brow. So I take that with a little bit of the Juvia's Place eye primer and I just drag it across in order to clean up under the brow. It's raining outside right now and it's like the most calming, soothing sound in the world. Personally, I love, 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 love thunderstorms. I know, call me weird. I get it, it's weird, but I love the sound of thunderstorms. Thunderstorms to me are just so calming, relaxing. I know like sometimes, especially dogs, right? Dogs definitely scare with thunderstorms. Mine are actually okay. Luna will bark at the thunder if it's loud enough, but Riddick just kind of chills and relaxes and really couldn't care any less about the storm. <laughs> My mom's dogs, on the other hand, are not too fond of thunderstorms, especially her little one. She has two dachshund, um, cutest things ever. And uh, Daisy, her little one, is so afraid of thunder. I remember she was at my house one time when we still lived in Colorado, and I could not get the poor thing to stop shaking in the middle of a thunderstorm. It was just, she could not wait for it to be over. And once it was over, sweet relief, she was back to normal. But yeah, poor thing. I just, I feel so bad for dogs that are like terrified of thunderstorms because I love them. All right, so let's jump in to this beautiful palette. I think I'm gonna start off with the deeper shade or the deepest, one of the deepest, because they have two. They have this one here, which is more of a plum, and this one here, which is like a chocolate brown. This is Sunspot, and I think I'm gonna start off with that one. So just taking a little bit of that with my E25 blending brush from Sigma Beauty, and I'm going to start off by patting this on to the outer corner of the eye here, the outer V. I love how much Sigma Beauty's um, eyeshadow formula has changed and how much better it is. Um, it wasn't always great. Ever since they collabed with Beauty, Beauty Bird, ever since they collabed with Beauty Bird, I just love their eyeshadow formula. That palette was so, it was such a go-to of mine because it had so many nice warm tone neutrals that I could use on a regular basis. But then it also had like really nice olive greens. It had, um, what else did it have? I think it had like a pinky shade. I have it down there. I'm just, I don't wanna go grab it. But anyway, really, really super, super nice palette. It's such a great eyeshadow formula. And I think ever since then, like their eyeshadow formulas are just great. They're great. So I'm starting off with the deepest shade, which I didn't do before, but I've been doing ever since I watched a Natasha Denona eyeshadow um, tutorial, like eye look tutorial. I was like, you know what? I think she's onto something. You start off with the deeper one and then that way it makes it easier to blend out around it with like the lighter ones. Whereas I was always starting off with the lighter ones and then I'd work my way up to the deeper ones. And sometimes it just, it, it took forever, honestly. This saves me so much time and energy. I highly, highly recommend you start off with the deeper shades that you plan on using and then go in with the lighter ones to blend around it. All right, next I'm gonna take Oasis. This one right here, it's like an orangey brown. So just taking a little bit of that with the same brush and I'm using this to blend out here around the edge. Just being really light-handed with it. All right, and then I'm gonna go in with summer, what is it called? Summer Solstice, which is this beautiful, like more pinky brown right here. And I'm going to apply that to the outer part of the deeper shade right here. 
Just trying to create like a really nice transition from lightest to deepest. Just gliding this back and forth along the crease where the plum shade is kind of ending. All right, next I'm gonna take this beautiful shimmer shade. Um, this one's called Candle Light. I'm grabbing that with my finger and I'm just going to apply it here along the center of the eye and I'm bringing it all the way up to the crease. Oh, I like that. Look how pretty that is. It's kind of like a coppery shade. I really, really like that a lot. It's a coppery shade, but it doesn't have as much orange. Definitely very, very subtle and easy to work with. It goes on the lid, no problem. Looks super, super good. Okay, and then for the inner corner here, I want something a little bit lighter. So I think that's Midas, really, really gold. I think I'm gonna skip out on that one for today. I think I'm gonna go with Mary Gold, which is still gold, but just not as yellow. It's a little bit more pink. And so we're gonna pop this into the inner corner there. And that blends in really nicely with the center. Why do we make such weird faces to get our eyes and our face to do what we needed to do? I don't ever realize how crazy my face looks when I'm applying makeup until I'm sitting there editing the footage and I'm like, okay, Sarah. I'm gonna add a little bit more of the candlelight shade, the one that we started off with, this one here. I'm gonna add a little bit more onto the center Feel like it got a little tiny bit lost after I applied the inner corner shade. So I wanna bring that back. All right, last but not least, going back in with my blending brush, grabbing a little bit more of the sunspot shade that we started this look off with, just a tiny bit more, nothing too crazy. And I'm gonna use this in order to deepen the outer corner and just blend in the shimmer. All right, so the eyes are almost done, partly done. Um, we're gonna put that off to the side for a second and I'm gonna move on to my face, actually my base. So what I've been doing is I've been applying a setting spray on my face before going in with foundation, color corrector, concealer. It helps everything look so much better when you apply a setting powder or a setting spray or powder. I think like Jackie Ina does something like that where she applies loose powder onto the face before she goes in with foundation. I've yet to try that, but I've been doing this and it works great. So I'm taking my Porefessional Super Setter um, setting spray from Benefit, just shaking it up a little bit. The mist is super fine. I love it. I love it. Next, color corrector. This is the Beauty Pie Super Luminous Under Eye Genius Corrector in the shade Medium Deep. Has definitely replaced my Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. I still use it, but I just don't want to use it on camera anymore because we're not going to have access to it here soon. So what's the point, right? So just applying a little bit of that underneath the eyes. And don't worry. Don't worry. I did order a couple of the new Fenty correctors. I'm super excited to try them. So yeah, can't wait for them to arrive. Okay, moving on to foundation. This truly has been the foundation that I've been grabbing the most. This is the best skin ever from Sephora. I love this foundation. I like the coverage that you get. I like how my skin looks throughout the entire day. It has just been such a good foundation, like such, such a good purchase. So just taking a little bit of that, I wear the shade 26N. I find that it suits my complexion perfectly. And I'm gonna be applying this with my flat Kabuki brush from Sigma Beauty. This is their F80. I really love the way that this applies foundation onto the skin. Everything looks nice and even, and I really love how dense it is because it doesn't absorb as much foundation. And so I end up using a lot less than I would otherwise. Taking this down the neck. The rain is really coming down. <laughs> I like it though. I like it. You know what? I'm going back in with this brow powder because I am not okay with how light that looks. Let's deepen it up a little bit. I mean, there's sparseness, but you don't need to call me out over it. Jeez. Much better. All right, next for concealer, I'm using my Tarte Shape Tape in the shade 35H, which is medium honey. 
just applying a little bit of this, just a little bit, I've learned that a little goes a long way. And I'm blending it out with my deluxe crease brush from Real Techniques, of course. Concentrate most of my concealers right here along the inner corner. And then I drag whatever is left back. Just because I feel like the darkness is truly just right here. And I don't need a ton of concealer out here where, you know, it's not as dark. Next, let's set the inner eye area. I'm taking my Shape Tape Setting Powder. This one is their translucent shade. And I'm taking it with my Soft Blend brush. This one's the number 60 brush from Sigma Beauty. I love, 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 love their Soft Blend brushes, especially for the under eye area because they are so soft, but they deposit the exact amount of powder product that you need underneath the eyes. I liked their smaller Soft Blend brushes for the, um, the eyelid area. If I'm looking to just put a really quick look together, I just use one of their soft blend brushes, apply it onto the crease, apply a little bit onto the outer V, maybe pop something on the lid and I'm good to go. It's just, they're so, so good. So good for the under eye area, so good for the lid. I just love that. So I love their soft blend collection. All right, now let's move on to mascara. This is the, what is this? The Lancome Lash Idol. Idol, Idol, I don't know, I bought it. Let's see what it does. It's supposed to lift your lashes and give them volume. Let's see if that's true. So this is the wand. Now let's apply a couple of coats of this and see what we get. I do like when mascaras come with this sort of stiffer brush because I feel like it does a good job at like separating everything but I prefer the fluffier um, applicators because I feel like those ones just give you more of a wispy look. Whereas like this one is going to, yeah, it might lift, it'll add some length, but I don't know if it's necessarily going to deliver the volume that I'm looking for. So far after one coat, not really. See that? Like it, it does add volume, but not like my Bite Upswing Mascara. That one. Your lashes look so good with that one. All right, so there are two coats. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. I like it, sure, it's fine. All right, next let's move on to the face. Juvia's Place sent over their um, new bronzers. They sent two different shades. This one is tan, this one is medium. Let's see what they look like. They also sent over their new, um, the bronze rustic eyeshadow palette, which I definitely plan on using. Um, let's see what this one looks like. Okay, so this is their bronzed rustic palette for the eyes and it, oh, and it looks like this. Very, very simple. I like how they do stick with like very simple color schemes so that they don't overwhelm you with too many choices. Like I, even though I really, really love this, it does have a lot of different choices and you're kind of left with like, uh, which ones? Like, what is my pongo? I don't know. But that one makes it super, super easy. And they're like that with pretty much all their palettes, except the um, Wahala palette, I think that's, the one it's like super super colorful and they have a lot of different a lot of different options uh this one nice simple definitely going to be saving it for later okay so these are their new bronzers like i said i got medium and tan this is oh they have a mirror i love that so this is the medium one and oh i just accidentally oh <gasps> what do you have over there she's taking my trash luna isabel luna do you want some makeup <laughs> <laughs> yes, I love you. I love you. Oh, I'm almost done. I promise. Ya casi acabo, okay? All right. So this is their medium, and this is their tan. I think. ¿Cuál me gusta? Honestly, this one or this one? I'm gonna go with this one. So I believe this is more of the cool tone shade. And then this, of course, is more yellow warm. So this is gonna go above this one. So I'm grabbing this first shade with my large angled contour brush. This is the F40 from Sigma Beauty. Just taking a little bit. I don't wanna do too much of this. I'm gonna start here. 
Ooh, yes. Oh, I like it. Definitely pretty subtle, but it obviously makes a difference. Like you can clearly see it. And these are meant to be buildable. Ooh, I like it. Sí, me gusta. Me gusta, me gusta. A ver. Let's keep going to blend it in. Yeah, and a little goes a long way. You definitely don't need a lot with these. Look at that. Ooh, love it. All right, so now that we're done with the cooler tone, we can move on to the warmer. So just taking a little bit of this one. This one's a bit more yellow though. I don't know if I want that all over the face, but a ver, let's see what it looks like. Okay, nice, subtle, but yeah, I think, mm, I don't know if I love that. It's a little too yellow for me or for my liking. All right, I love it. Love the contour shade. The warm one, maybe just a little too yellow for me, but I think next time I am definitely gonna give this one a try, like just very light, lightly go in with this one. I like that one. Me gusta más, I like it better. All right, next let's move on to a little bit of blush, just a little bit. This is Sigma Beauty's new Cor de Rosa blush palette. Mira, just look at this. Comes with a mirror, love that. Look at this. Look at this. Como me gusta. I love this shade so much. This is the one that I've been wearing a lot of lately. This is Señorita. It also has Coral Dawn, which as you can see, looks a little bit more coral tone. Really nice pink one. And then you have something a little bit deeper. You have this, like these baked ones. I, that's why I like this one so much because it is baked. It's not as pink. It goes with a lot of a lot of different eye looks, if not all eye looks. Um, and then you have this, the original Corda Rosa shade, which I really, really like. I like that one a lot. I used to grab it all the time before, but um, you know, new makeup takes its place and I honestly forgot about it until I received this. And yeah, love this shade though. So I'm gonna use this one. So I'm gonna grab a little bit of Señorita with my contour slash blush brush. This is the F53 Air from Sigma. So I'm taking some of this, así, like that. Oh, you can't even see it. Honestamente, like it's there though. I promise you. There's stuff on this brush, I promise. So just taking a little bit of this and yes. I really like it because it's really nice and subtle. I love this brush because it deposits such little amounts so you don't have to, you don't have to worry about overdoing it right off the bat because I tend to do that with blushes sometimes. Um, but yeah, this one really helps blend it in without looking like too much. And I like placing my blushes like a little bit further back. I don't like putting them here along the apples of my cheeks just because I don't know. I, don't, I feel like it kind of loses like the contour that I worked hard on getting. It kind of gets lost when you apply a blush right here. This way, the face still looks really nice and lifted like that, but without the color here bringing it forward again. Do you know what I mean? Does that make sense? Am I crazy? All right, I almost forgot. We gotta go back to the eyes. We gotta finish this off. The under eye is completely bare and that is unacceptable, at least to me, you know? Whenever I don't apply anything to the under eye area, I just feel like, I don't know, I feel like my look is incomplete, you know? Like it's just not enough. Um, I'm gonna take my detail blending brush. This one is the E27 from Sigma Beauty. And I'm gonna actually, mm, should I do the deeper one? I'm gonna skip on the deepest shade up here. Instead, I'm going into Oasis. Just grabbing a little bit of that with the tip, just the tip. And I'm gonna take Summer Solstice. So I'm kind of like mixing the two. And this is what I'm gonna use underneath the eye. This way it's a lot more subtle, but still, like the color's still there. All right, we're gonna finish off the eyes with some mascara. All right, next from the Ambience Collection, this is the Glow Kissed Highlight Palette. It comes with six different shades, which look like this, mira. Oh my Dios, okay? Let's see, we're gonna swatch them and see what we get because I really don't even know. Look at how, okay, my goodness. Okay, so this one is a Flare, which is this one right here. This one's Flare, first one. Second one is, Aurora, that one right there, looks like that. It's a little bit more pink, whereas the first one's a little bit more on the golden side. 
This one is Twilight, which looks like that. A little bit like purplish, right? A ver. Oh no, wrong, pink. Oh, that's so pretty. Next we have Sizzle. That one is like a rose gold shade. Love it. This one is Golden Hour. Golden, you know. I'm running out of room. So pretty. And this last one is Sunstone, which is like a pinky shade. A ver. I, no, I didn't have anything there. <laughs> yeah, pink, definitely more pink. So for today's look, I'm gonna go with Flare. And I'm gonna grab that with my tapered highlighter brush. This one is the F35 from Sigma, but it is from their Ambience collection. And look at how beautiful that is. All right, so just taking a little bit of this, like that, yucky. And I don't do the bridge of my nose any longer because um, I need no help in that department. I already get pretty shiny and oily right here. So honestly, I'm good without. The last thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take Flare with, um, this is the eye shading brush, the E55 from Sigma. It's just a small little shading brush. And I'm going to apply a little bit of that Flare highlight onto the brow bone right here. And I'm gonna take a little bit more of that, just a tiny bit, and apply it here along the inner corner, like that. All right, last but not least, the lips. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do yet, honestly. Um, Juvia's Place sent me their new liquid lipsticks from the bronzed collection, which I have right here, and I will be swatching for you guys. So these are the three new liquid lipsticks. This one, which is the lighter of the three, is in Bronzed Toast, which looks like that. Next one is Bronzed Maple, which is a bit more like orangey red. Looks like that. And last but not least, you have the deepest of the three. This one is Bronzed Chestnut and it looks like that. They also sent me their lip liner and their two glosses, their new glosses. This one is in Bronzed Honey, which looks like this. So definitely a gloss, but with color. Their Bronzed Sugar lip gloss, which looks like this. So this one definitely being the more sheer of the two. They also sent me their newest lip liner shade, which is Brownie. Okay and it looks like that. So it's very, very deep, kind of like that. Honestly, I'm not really sure what I am going to do here. I also have a couple of new glosses from Sigma Beauty that they launched alongside the um, highlight palette and of course their eyeshadow palette in their Ambience collection. These are really pretty, but I don't know if I'm gonna go for these. So this one is in the shade, what is this, Idyllic? And this one is Brilliance. So Brilliance, Idyllic, they look like that. I don't know if you can see the difference. This one, of course, being this one right here and the lighter being right here next to it. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with this one here. This is the Bronzed Toast Liquid Lipstick from Juvia's Place. This is the first time trying their liquid lipsticks. I love their matte lipsticks. They are like some of my most favorite lipsticks. Um, because they are very long lasting, they're comfortable on the lips, even though they're a lipstick, because they're matte, they're not really, they're kind of like transfer resistant. And so I don't have to worry about leaving lipstick all over my kid's face or like on the dogs. I really like them. So let's see um, what these feel like. All right, so the liquid lipstick is dried down. It's not transferring, but another. Nice, like it. And I think I am, I think I am gonna apply a gloss on top though. I don't know, I just kind of feel like wearing gloss today. So I'm grabbing the uh, Brilliance Gloss from Sigma and I'm gonna top this off with that. So let's do it. Oh yeah. It definitely added a little bit of extra something. Me gusta, I really like it. 
So that completes today's look. What do you guys think? I really love the way that this turned out actually. I really like the eyes. This eyeshadow palette, absolutely going to be a new go-to for me along with the bronzers. I just, I really liked everything that I tried out today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Definitely something different. It wasn't as straightforward and to the point. Had some fun with it. Hope you guys enjoyed watching, enjoyed listening to me talk about these products, talk about just random stuff here there. I really want to do more of these because I do find them very, very fun to film. So stay tuned for that. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on more videos like this and also some very exciting product reviews that I have coming up. Also, don't forget to follow me over on Instagram where I absolutely love to interact with you guys. As always, take care and I will see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye.